And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to BISD Memorial Stadium for tonight's district matchup, featuring the Beaumont United Timberwolves hosting the North Shore Mustangs. Support our student council by purchasing a 2022 football program. All fall extracurricular activities are included inside. All programs are $10 at gate A. Also, you can support the All Sports Booster Club by enjoying a tasty treat from the concession stands. Beaumont United High School is a proud member of the Texas University Interscholastic League. We'd like to remind all spectators that although this game is competitive, it's also an educational experience for all players and students. Let's continue to show respect and sportsmanship throughout this contest and refrain from negative cheers, chants, or behavior. Beaumont United High School welcomes our guests from North Shore High School. We wish all players good luck and good health in tonight's game. And now coming to the center of the field, our good sportsmanship league representatives from both schools, representing North Shore High School, student council president Jordan Hadnot, cheer co-captain Zikaya Mullen, cheer external officer Jakaya Bass, Scarlet Captain Jasmine Jimenez and Scarlet Escort Jacob Gonzalez. Representing Beaumont United High School, Golden Girls Drill Team member Amaya Cooper, Soul of the South Band member Ariel Perez, Dynamic Steps Majorette Kenya Khalid, Student Body President Ashlyn Papion, Taylor and Tyler the Timberwolves, Wolfpack member Nikki Coleman, Varsity cheerleader Jacqueline Petrie, student athletic trainers Paris Young and Leah Myers, and our NJ ROTC cadets. Introducing the 2022 North Shore Varsity Cheerleaders. The North Shore Cheer Squad was the 2022 UCA Camp Superior Crowd Leader and won the Leadership Award under the leadership of Mrs. Henderson. First up, senior UCA All-American, Sanjay Anderson. Junior, Kimora Jenkins. Senior, Journey Isom. Junior, UCL All-American Internal Officer, Ariana Stevens. Senior, UCA Two-Time All-American Internal Officer, Melanie Vargas. Senior, Destiny Gage. Senior, Valerie Martinez. Junior, Shakira Emerson. Senior, Kimora Thomas. Senior, Caitlin Garza. Senior, Mariah Hickman. Sophomore Madison McWashington. Senior Internal Officer Ellen Cruz. Senior UCA All American External Officer and Spirit Girl of the Week, Jakiah Bass. Senior UCA Two Time All American Internal Officer, Leah Shinette. Senior Internal Officer, Aliyah Ross. Junior, Zoe Pope. A junior, UCA All-American, Haley Perkins. 
senior UCA two-time All-American co-captain Sakea Mullen. And senior UCA All-American captain Anisha Walker. And the managers are Brittany Guyton and Hallie Fletcher. And now introducing the Beaumont United Varsity Cheer Squad. Junior Social Officer, Janiah Scott. Junior Angel Frank. Senior Lindsey Vasquez. Senior Chaslyn Petrie. Junior Mackenzie Hill. Senior Kirsten Hudson. Senior Aaliyah Staves White. Junior and co captain Kennedy Cooper. Junior Lola Carr. A senior UCA All American and captain Brooklyn Gardner. Senior and UCA All American Maisha Moultrie. A senior and two time UCA All American Kristen James. Junior Grace Wilson. A senior UCA All-American and Social Officer, Mateza Gilmore. Senior Samaya Chapman. Junior Kandasia Carrier. Junior Angel Greer. Senior Courtney Martin. Senior and Cheer Manager, Brayla Keys. And Senior and Cheer Manager, Jonna Chauvin. The Beaumont United Cheerleaders are under the direction of Ms. Lisa Harris and Head Coach, and Ms. Delicia Nolan, Assistant Coach. And now, ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise as the North Shore High School Marching Band plays their school song.
Arena, please remain standing for the Belmont United School Song. And hello, folks. We are back at Memorial Stadium in Beaumont ISD in Beaumont, Texas. It's your commentator, Marco Johnson and Josh Lamb. Hey, hey guys. How you making it today, man? I'm doing good. How you doing, Marco? Oh, man, can't complain a bit. It's been a great day. It's a beautiful Friday to have a great game with our Beaumont United Timberwolves taking on the North Shore Mustangs. Uh, we want to say, first, first and all, we want to make sure that we acknowledge our superintendent, Dr. Shannon Allen, our athletic director, Dr. Ron Jackson, our assistant athletic director, Rolanda Fontenot, Annette Barclay, the administrative assistant, and Ms. Nikki Payne. We also want to acknowledge Dr. Wiley Johnson of Beaumont United, principal. Uh, today it looks like it's going to be a very interesting game. It's going to be a great game. North Shore ranked number four in the state of Texas. Is coming into Beaumont to take on the Beaumont United Timberwolves. You know, last week Beaumont United had a great showing. They definitely, it was about week, the week before they had a great showing. <laughs> I tell you what, yeah, you're right. Last week was about week. It, I guess you can tell I'm ready for some action. <laughs> but I tell you about what, week, look, North Shore, oh, look, BU coming out. All right, here we go, and we have our Beaumont United Timberwolves coming out. Go Timberwolves! Well, they were led out by the teachers for Teachers Appreciation Night. It's awesome. You know, we couldn't do this without teachers, without coaches. If you know a teacher, hug a teacher. If you know a teacher, kiss a teacher. Make sure you let our teachers know that they are greatly, greatly appreciated. We also want to make sure that we uh, give a shout out to our CTE director, Dr. Donna Prudel. No, I didn't forget your name. Just pause. <laughs> Our assistant director, Ms. Alicia Green. We also want to acknowledge the coaches for North Shore High School head coach, John Kay, offensive coordinator, uh, Willie Gaston, and Garrett Cross, defensive coordinator. And for the Bowman United Timberwolves, we have head coach, Daryl Colbert. Offensive coordinator, Albert Hardy, and Malcolm Frank, defensive coordinator. And while we get started here, let's have a word from our super, Beaumont ISD superintendent, Dr. Shannon Allen. Good evening. I am Dr. Shannon Allen, and I have the privilege of serving as your superintendent of schools of the Beaumont Independent School District. Welcome to Memorial Stadium, and thank you for supporting our students. I know that our athletes, band, cheerleaders, drill team, student trainers, and all other performing groups have worked tirelessly to come together for a successful season. It makes me incredibly proud to support them in their endeavors. BISD has drafted the best teachers, coaches, and team members to drive your student to excel in the 22-23 school year. When you see your students performing, know that our coaches and sponsors have dedicated and sacrificed for students to shine in their roles on the contest field. I commend our staff and students for the perseverance and time it takes to see our students succeed both academically and in extracurricular programs, which our community will witness throughout this entire school year. Beaumont ISD has historically been recognized as the football capital of America. What a great honor. I believe our students will continue to be recognized for their athletic and fine arts accomplishments displayed here. Our goal is to continue this level of excellence on and off the field in order to ensure that our students receive a well-rounded and high quality educational experience. But it doesn't stop there. To do this, we need parental and community support. So thank you in advance for a great school year. Let's go Timberwolves. And that was a word from our superintendent, Dr. Shannon Allen. So tonight, just a couple of stats, a couple of things to get you up and on for North Shore Mustangs. North Shore, so far in the year, are they're 3-0. and 
they've uh, scored 146 points and only allowed 46 points out of the whole uh, first three preseason games. Pretty impressive. Yeah, they, man, they, they always have a powerhouse over at North Shore, man. And it's no surprise to nobody. You know, we all, we all know it. We, we, we won't sit there and act like, uh, you know, as, as much as I'm a, they call me a Beaumont bias, um, you know, I give, I give credit when credit is due. And you are in their powerhouse, man. You, you don't win as many championships as they won in the amount of years it took them, uh, you know, with, without being a powerhouse. So, so it's definitely an uphill battle for BU. But, hey, I, 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 I read I read in some book that a guy named David be the guy named the Goliath. So, you know. Well, you know, I think that was a pretty good book that you read that in. <laughs> we want to welcome everybody who's on the live stream tonight. Uh, to your host, Marco Johnson, as well as Mr. Joshua Lamb. We're going to give you a good game tonight. Now, let's get a couple of stats on the year for the Beaumont United High School Timberwolves. So far on the year, our leader in receiving yards is Jalen Moore, averaging 40.3 yards a game. Uh, number two would be, I'm sorry, two-time. Two-time. Two-time state champion, Traylon Porsche, averaging 33.7 yards a game. And Avion Williams, averaging 30.3 yards a game. For the Bomber United Timberwolves, we have Jonathan Martin, quarterback, averaging in rushing yards, averaging 84 yards a game. Then we have right behind him, Jarius Coleman, averaging 81.7 yards on that rushing dude, per game. That dude run hard, man. And then we have Athean Renfo, averaging 33 yards per game for the Bomber United Timberwolves. In total yardage, I'm sorry, total TDs, you have Jonathan Martin with seven TDs on the year. Athena Renfro with one and two times. Two times. <laughs> State champion. Trailing Porsche, you had to say it twice. <laughs> you say, it, say it twice because it's twice as nice, man. We have, we have in tackles per game. Oh, listen to this one. Cameron Mickles averaging 14.7 hey, hey. tackles per game. Hey, you got you got to put some respect on his name too. Oh, you're right. Two-time state basketball champion, Cameron Mickles. You got that right. And we have Brian Jackson averaging 10.7 tackles per game, and Joseph Thomas averaging 7.3 tackles a game. Look like BU receiving the ball first. I mean, North Shore will get it at halftime. Uh, we're getting ready to start the first quarter, guys. This is what you guys are all here for. So here we go. And the ball is up. We have a high, short pooch kick. And it's been recovered by North Shore. But we don't have a signal yet. Wait, the sure did. Recovered by North Shore. Wow, United did not recover that ball. The ball was really, really high, high pooch kick. And they just let it come down and hit the ground. And it's always bad when that happens. Yeah, I missed that one. So it'll be first down and 10 for North Shore Mustangs at the Bowman United 32 yard line. Bowman United started backed up already off of that pooch kick. I'm sure coach will be talking about that on the sideline. The ball is snapped. And we see number nine quarterback for North Shore Mustangs coming out of the pocket, coming around, and he will score. And it is a touchdown on the first play from scrimmage. 32 yards for number nine, Caleb Bailey. And just like that, folks, score is six. North Shore Mustangs, Bowman United, zero. No, actually, that only took 11 seconds off of the clock. And we're here for the kick. Kick is up, and the extra point is no good. The extra point is no good. So here we are with 11 minutes and 49 seconds in the first quarter. And the score is North Shore Mustang 6, Beaumont United, Timberwolves 0. 
hey, let's not forget, get in your third quarter shout outs. Make sure you shout out whoever it is that you'd like. You shout out your mom, shout out your dad, shout out your kids, shout out your cat. No, no. Well, maybe. Shout out anybody in the family, but make sure they're listening that they know. Also, if you like what you're hearing and you love the broadcast, like and subscribe. Send us some comments. Let us know what we can do and how we're doing. But please, don't forget the third quarter shout-outs last week. We did a great job of getting third quarter shout-outs in, so make sure you get those shout-outs in so we can give you a shout-out and shout-out who we'd like to hear from you tonight. And here we go again. You know, it looked like we just saw this. Yeah. North Shore kicking off to Bowman United. It's, uh, it's 11 seconds into the game. Okay. I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that that kind of mental mistake probably won't happen again tonight. Right. And 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 you know I always wonder why more teams don't try that um like that long I mean that that high kick and give your guys some time to get to get uh get to it. Here we go. We had a. There we go. Decent kick, ball coming out to the 21-yard line. Took a bounce, and then he picked it up, bringing the ball out to the 21-yard line where, I'm sorry, the 26-yard line where Beaumont United Timberwolves will take over. It'll be first and 10 on the Beaumont United 26-yard line. Let's see, what the Beaumont, see if Beaumont United can answer here. North Shore took it in 32 yards from on the first play from scrimmage. Let's see if Beaumont United can take it. All right, here we go. First play from scrimmage from Beaumont United. We have motion in the backfield. Coming across, we have... Johnson Watson. Oh, oh. Look at a foul on it. Foul on it. Good, good, good. He went to pass. Looked like the ball just kind of slipped out of his hand right there. It was good that he was able to get back on it. Hey, what Eminem said, uh, knees weak, palms are sweaty. <laughs> Vomit on my sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. You sure right. Eight mile. <laughs> Tell you what, it's going to be a second down and 15 for the Bowman United Timberwolves here in the first quarter at Memorial Stadium in Beaumont, Texas. Hey, I tell you what, we're less than a minute into this game, and we're almost at 200 viewers already. Hey, <laughs> we're glad to, well, we can't see you, but we're glad to see yeah. the numbers of you <laughs> coming on in. Y'all come on in and join us tonight. Come on in. Welcome to the party. Second play from scrimmage for Bowman United Timberwolves. Be second down and 15. Handoff to, ooh. Handoff, and he is met well, by number 99. Hey, that's one thing. Of North Shore, and boy, he stopped him completely right there in the hole. That's one thing you I have to give North Shore credit for, man. They will gang tackle. They will gang tackle. Like, it, it won't just be, you know, they, they don't have the opportunity to uh, to uh, miss a tackle because if one misses, they got five more around them. You know, they, 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 they get to that ball, and they, uh, and, they, and they do it very well. So I, I'll give them their props on that. Definitely right. It is third down and 16. Loss of one on that play. Third down and 16 for Bowman United Timberwolves on their own 20-yard line. See Jonathan Martin back to pass and couldn't get out of the hole there and stopped for a loss of Wait a minute. Yes, for a loss of two yards. That'll bring a fourth down and 18 for the Bowman United Timberwolves. And of course, you see, we're going to be punting this ball out of here. Yeah, you ain't kind of have no choice uh, at this point. Uh, you know, that first set looked, uh, you know, it, it didn't look good for Bowman United Timberwolves. Getting the jitters out, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, they, we, if we know it, they know it. They're going against the powerhouse. You got to get the jitters out. Um, you got to, um, you know, hey, that's your first drive. Get the jitters out. Here we go. Kick is up. Takes a Timberwolf bounce. Yeah, let that thing roll. Let it go. Blow on it. Blow on it. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. Anything to make that ball keep going back toward the end zone. Mm -hmm. oh, the wind. It's not windy out there, Marco? No, there's no wind today. You can see the flag is pretty stagnant. <laughs> With 917 in the first quarter, Bowman, I'm sorry, North Shore Mustangs will take over on their own 33-yard line. They got some big boys on that line, Marco. Yeah, that line looks pretty massive. Looks very massive. I'm 
pretty. You know, that, that quarterback and that tailback will be running behind that line all night long. Mm -hmm. And first down and 10 for North Shore Mustangs. RPO. Oh, RPO. Oh, yeah, oh nice oh, juke move. Number fast. nine. That dude fast. Comes around, and he scampers out of bounds at the 43 yard line. He fast. Pickup of nine yards on the play. You know, looked like he uh, looked like he was stuffed in the middle, but he was able to juke his way out of there and then come out to the. Mm -hmm. It looked like we had him. We, the right they, side. They, they were in the right position, but when well, you got somebody with legs and, and feet like that. They, you know, they can they can get themselves out of a jam real quick, real quick. Second down and one. Ball on their own 42-yard line. Not sure. It's the snap. And off. And off to the, through the middle. Number 34 just Jeez. comes straight Jeez. through the middle. Now, you were talking about that big line. One thing you can see is that line opened up a hole for him to be able to come straight through. That would be a first down. For North Shore, be first and ten, ball in their own 40 yard, 49 yard line, sitting right at midfield. Oh, oh, uh, oh he got the uh, snap, and it looks done. like, get him, get him, get him. and it looks got like, him. oh, and got they him, brought him down. You know, yeah. the pursuit by Bama United is relentless right there. 56. It's good that they kept him, kept going. Number 56 for Bama United brings him down. Number. To Cameron Powell. That'll bring up a second down and 15, loss of five on the play. Second and 15, that's right. We, we, hey, we got we to start making them. Tell you what. Let's see what North Shore has in store here. Snap is up. Quarterback has some time. Oh, pass complete to number 84. Brought down at the 38-yard line. And the Bama United 38 yard line. That'll bring up a first down and 10. And it's good for a North Shore first down. First and 10 at the United. We got, we, we got, we got like, as a visitor, Marco. Huh? We got as a visitor. Oh, do we have one? <laughs> hey, thank you, Dr. Prudham. Great to see that CG you're listening to tonight. Dr. Prudham. And ball handoff to number 28. Coming up the middle and brought and down after a gain of about seven yards on the play. Let's uh, let's address the let's address the uh, the elephant in the room, the whole five a six a debate. Yes, if we if we're looking at the numbers right now, I think Westbrook is like twenty or thirty people over six a, and uh, BU is uh, I think BU is under, but no, but you know they won't do another reclass until another two not, years. Yeah, two years. So not this year, not next year, but the year after, and so so yes. I would love for BU and Westbrook to drop down, but you know, it's the, it's it's the uh, population at the time of the uh, reclass. Oh, good hit! Good hit. We saw right there number 34 bouncing on, bouncing out on the left side of the line, getting all the way through, breaking one tackle, and actually taking a hard lick out of bounds. 17-yard pickup for a first down for the North Shore Mustangs. It doesn't seem like North Shore is having any problem moving the ball tonight. Let's say, let's say Westbrook is 30 people over. Yeah. And it's just like, and then you're going to get North Shore. North Shore has three campuses. They have a ninth grade campus, 10th grade campus, and, and a 10th and, I mean, 11th and 12th grade campus. And so, you know, we, we, you know, we, we are a super small 5A going against a super big. I mean, we are super small, super small 6A going up against a super big 6A. Or let me say this, we are a big 5A going up against a big 6A. Actually, you're kind of right. The numbers would say more of us being on a 5A level. But I tell you what, with the competition that we're going to be playing, it's going to yeah. have our boys in, at Westbrook and at uh, Bowman United to just Marco, some great 277, Marco. Hey. We're at 277, We're almost Marco. at 300 subscribers already. <laughs> hey, with no, no, that's the subscribers. How many people watching? I'm let sorry, see, watchers. Let me see how many subscribers we have, Marco. Hold on. Here we go. We're going to second down and 10. But North Shore yeah, Mustang pass, pass complete to number eight. And he is still on his feet and brought down by a host of Bowman United Timberwolves. For a gain of six yards on the play to be, bring up a third down and six for the North Shore Mustangs. 
on the Beaumont United nine yard line. And the ball is snapped. Hand off to number 34, who comes up the middle and is brought down by number seven. I believe that's number seven of the Bomb United Timberwolves. I'm sorry, that's Bomb United number 31, Cedric Madison. Gain of one, fourth down and three for the North Shore Mustangs. Let's hunker down right here, defense. Oh, you see, it looks like going for a hard count. See if you can draw someone off sides, but no one jumped. Look like they're getting to play now. Hey. Y'all be sure, for those watching, be sure to. Uh, Here we go. Hand off in to number 34 of North Shore Mustangs, and he is That's in the North end zone. Shore. Touchdown, North, North Shore Mustangs. Mustangs, number 34, Rashad Johnson. He went through there, took a couple of licks, but. He stayed on his feet. He had great body balance there, and it's another touchdown for North Shore Mustangs. We're here in Beaumont, Texas, with 5.15 remaining in the first quarter. <laughs> we got number nine girlfriend in the chat. <laughs> kick is up, and this kick is good. I'm sorry, with 5.15 remaining in the first quarter, we have North Shore Mustangs 13 and Beaumont United. Zero. I'm sorry, let me fix that. Let me fix the score for for that get on. 13, 13, zero. Here we go. 13, zero in the first quarter. You know. The one thing we know is that it's a long game, so anything can definitely happen, and we're looking forward to some great things happening tonight. But we know that Bowman United is going to have to move the ball a little bit better than they did the first time. If we're going to have a, a different showing than what we did. While enjoying free ice cream. We hope to see you there. That's this coming Monday, September the 26th. Six o'clock in the BU cafeteria. Soft serve and soft serve. Jonathan Soto to kick off. All right, here we go. Now, Bowman United set to receive the kickoff from <laughs> North Shore Mustangs. For the Sea Wolves. Kick is up. Man, he kick a high, a high kick handled. By Bowman United, fair number catch, three, Bowman United Timberwolves, three, the fair Bowman catch. And Bowman United will take over on what looks like the 27-yard line. Be first down and 10. I'm sorry, the 28-yard line. Be first down and 10, Bowman United taking over on their own 28-yard line. One thing we can say is, Bowman United has shown, even if they're down, they're still going to fight. We've seen weeks when they were down and they still brought things back in. Week one, you know, they were down uh, 21 or 28 0 and came back to make that game so close. Yeah, they, uh, they made me proud. They made me proud. Ball handed off to number 33 of Bowman United Timberwolves was brought down by number 90, 99 again of North Shore Mustangs, number 99, Elijah Fields. Boy, that, I'm noticing a lot of the tackles is happening tonight. Number 99 is right there in on them. Loss of three on that play. That'll bring up a second down and 13 for Beaumont United Timberwolves. Ball in their own 25-yard line here in the first quarter. Four minutes and 34 seconds remaining. Snap is out. Look, pass the margin was pass. High. Ooh, pass was high right off the fingertips. Defended by number five of North Shore. Intended. Intended for number one. Two time. Two time. Two time. Two time. State champion. State champion, trailing Porsche. That'll bring up a third down and 13 for Beaumont United Timberwolves here in Beaumont, Texas at Memorial Stadium. You 
know, it's not good to get in these third and longs. Absolutely. Because the more you get in these third and longs, it's a whole lot easier to go a third and three than a third and 13. Absolutely. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout. Timeout, Bowman United, Temple Wolves. All right. As here's a word from our sponsors. New clubs. Nice. Where'd you get them? Reward points. What do you mean? Oh, with my Nature's debit card, I get reward points for everyday purchases. Purchases made every day. Why are you saying that's so weird? And I get to redeem my points for rewards. Like these clubs. Oh, man. Are we in a Nature's commercial? And cut. Natchez Federal Credit Union debit card. Rewards for everyday purchases. Natchez Federal Credit Union. Family, friends, community. And we're back here at Memorial Stadium in Beaumont, Texas, where Beaumont United Timber Wolves are down 13-0 with four minutes and 22 seconds in the first quarter, facing a third down and 13. About to come back from a timeout. Now, I wonder what coach is telling him in the huddle right here for this play. Uh, where is it? Third and third and thirteen. Third, third and thirteen. Telling the line to block. You know, <laughs> to get, give me some time to get a good pass off. You know. That is definitely so. We see that they come with trips left. And oh, Jonathan Martin is, ooh, he didn't have any time to do anything. As soon as he received the ball, when he came up Jonathan into the pocket, you had a 23 from North Shore High School and just took him down. Be a fourth down and 15, loss of two on the play. So we'll see the second punt of the night from Bowman United Timberwolves from deep in their own territory. See if they can get a better roll. Yeah. Because I can tell you, there's no wind out there. I'm still looking no, at the flag. So the flags it's, look dead. Yeah, they look dead. And we have a oh, high kick. Did it touch no, not a high kick. Looks like somebody yeah. might have blocked that a little bit, but it's yeah, taking it a great long. Timberwolf it roll. Let that thing roll, you know. There we That's go. My motto. I'm, I'm going to get a shirt. Let that thing roll. <laughs> <laughs> line, Tell you line, what. It's a kick by as far as far back as we can, we can put them, be great. First down and 10 for North Shore Mustangs. Ball on the Mustang 34-yard line. There's the snap. And all right, handoff to number 28. Gain of about two. The bring up, I'm sorry, gain of three via second down and seven. Straight up the middle there, folks. We see they're going to stick to their running game. And that RPO, that run pass option. Because you have to watch the quarterback. If he pulls it, he has great feet. Here we go, second down and seven. And handoff again to... Hardiman on the carry again. Brought down by Laura. Number 28 for North Shore Mustangs, DeAndre Hardiman. Third down and four. Now to bring up a third down and four after a gain of another three yards. Third down and four for North Shore Mustangs on their own 40-yard line. See if Bowman United can hold them right here, hold these four yards, maybe get North Shore to punt. We see quarterback for North Shore back to oh, pass. Oh, good, great good, move. Good. And oh, good tackle, good tackle. That great behind, tackle oh. by number oh, seven. One yard short. Oh, that was four, that was fourth down and one. Number seven, Brian Jackson saved. Fourth down and one. They send another First one. down. That'll bring up a fourth down and one. They bring out the punt squad. Watch for the fake. That's all I'll say. Watch and they are bringing out the punt squad. I don't believe it. down and one. I don't believe, believe this is a punt right here. I don't believe him. <laughs> I'm not a believer, Marco. <laughs> I'm definitely not a believer. I mean, surprisingly enough, you know, the way that they've been actually 
you know, uh, being successful with running the ball up the middle. I'm surprised they wouldn't go for it with their normal plays here, but they actually oh, they actually the ball. the ball, Marco. Made it believe nice. out of me. High spiral and punt. Let's go. Oh, caught a bounce. Temple Wolves. He fumbled it out of bounds, Marco. But he fumbles it out of bounds, which was great because there was a couple of Mustangs in the area there. You know, we, we're, we're noticing on these kicks that there's – Hey, we have some comments in here, some great comments coming in yeah. through here. Be sure to comment who you're going for. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're at 479 right now. Let's try to get it. Let's try to, what are we shooting for? Six, I was going to say 500, but that's. Let's go 559. Let's go 600, Marco. <laughs> let's try to get the 600 for the night up. Here we go. A minute, one minute and 29 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Palmer United takes oh, let's over go. on that. Oh. Oh, he fumbled. He fumbled, Marco. No, not a fumble. Not a fumble. Yeah, look like he fumbled. Yes. Yeah, they got it. Oh, oh no. no. Get up, baby. And okay, Jonathan good. He good. Martin fumbles on the play. He took a big hit from three different Timberwolves at the same time. It looks like he need help getting off, so I'm going to take it off of him. You know, after taking a hit like that, you know, it'd be easy to knock the wind out of someone right there. But they say they, they, they say we better try for 500 first. 500 is a gimme. We're going. We, I know we're going to get that. You know, you got to think higher than that. I'm trying to get to, trying to get to 600 tonight. And tell you what, if you're enjoying the broadcast, enjoying what you're here, please like and subscribe and even comment so that we know. And and just so you just so you guys know, uh, we got a guy down. So I got the camera, you know, just facing anywhere else but the guy down. Out of respect. Yeah, we want to make sure that we. Uh, Make sure that we respect the players completely. Now, for all our subscribers, thank you for subscribing. All those that are just waiting to push that button. Remember, this is for our kids. It takes all of us. It takes all of us to make sure these kids know that they're supported. So let's support our athletes, support our schools, support all our schools, and let's make our world a better place with our kids. While we're attending to our player that's down on the field. Let's Okay, he's up, folks. He's up. Needs a little help to come off the field, but he is up. That's a great sign right there to be up. United number eight, Jonathan Martin. It'll be a first down and ten for the North Shore Mustangs after the fumble. Taking over on the Bowman United 30 yard line with one minute and 19 remaining in the first quarter here in Beaumont, Texas at Beaumont ISD Memorial Stadium. We hope that our we hope that our quarterback Jonathan Martin for the Bummy United Timberwolves be okay. Just coming off the field, pretty shaken up. But we know he's a fighter and he's a tough kid. But here we go, North Shore Mustangs taking over. Ball on the Bummy United 30-yard line, first down and 10 for the North Shore Mustangs. And we see he fakes the handoff. Number 28 makes a great block and wide open. Number four. That was a perfect pass. I don't know how number four came open. Just that, man. Terrence Guillory. Uh, we got another guy down too, Marco. Came wide open. And we have a guy down in the end zone for Boeing United Timberwolves. 
But man, that was a strike from the quarterback, number nine. We uh, a minute 13 it. remaining in the quarter, Marco. We're just trying to get out the quarter with everybody else we got, Marco. Yeah, I say you what, man. If we keep dropping like this, that's not going to be good. That's two players in two plays. Literally in two plays. But he's up and he's walking off, so he's probably just shaking up a little bit there. Yeah, probably took his win. But that it was a, another touchdown for the North Shore Mustangs here in the first quarter in Beaumont, Texas at Beaumont ISD Memorial Stadium. Right there lining back up now. And as they line up for the extra point, you know, I must say it's been a rough first quarter, but uh, again, it's still a long game. Any and everything can happen. And the extra point is up, and it is good. Extra point is good. So here with a minute and 13 remaining in Beaumont, Texas, North Shore Mustangs 20, Beaumont 90 Timberwolves 0. And uh, just FYI, the guy was able to walk off on his own power. Um, that was uh, number four for Beaumont 90 Timberwolves that was down and was able to walk off on his own power. Number four, Mr. Absolutely, Richard. Next man up. Nicholas, we I agree with you. Mr. Richard Harvey say, uh, next man up. He was going to tell you what, you know. We're going to see what Bowman United has tonight. Right now, this is a test of grit and will. Nobody likes to be down 20 nothing in the first quarter, but I tell you what, you know. One thing we've seen, these kids will not give up. Yeah, there's no quit. There's no quit in them for sure. Um, as uh, as um, North Shore get ready to kick off, 113 remaining in the first quarter, 20-0 uh, lead North Shore. Here we go. North Shore lined up to kick off, and the kick is up. High pooch kick, fair catch, signal received, and the ball is caught. And Beaumont fair United. Catch by Beaumont United number 82. Will take over on its own 27 yard line. I'm sorry. Yeah, on its own 27 yard line. Oh, yeah. Here with a minute and 13 seconds. Actually, 28 yard line on a minute and 13 seconds. It's first down and 10. Bowman United Timberwolves. Hey, Jay Do said in the comments, uh, Jay Do said he was lining for uh, Westbrook, man. You're at, you still at uh, Concordia, Jay Doucette? He uh, graduated well, Westbrook, I think, two years ago? Two years ago? Three years ago? What's going on, Jay? I, I love to, to see the alumni come back and watch the games, man. It, it warms my cold, cold heart. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. First down and 10 for Bummy United and handoff. Looks like a pickup of. <laughs> One yard on the play. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I told you I will growing look I say I will say the camera work is a lot years better this game than the previous one. I told you we are a a we we're, we're growing. This is this wasn't five four weeks ago this didn't exist. Well five weeks ago this didn't exist. So right. so every week I tell you every week I want to be better than the last one. So next week it'll be even better. Next week I might have a camera. I may have one of those fly cams, you know, like the NFL guy. <laughs> I don't know if that's in the budget. I'm gonna talk to some people up top, but we'll make it work. Well, I tell you what, we dare, we 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 really, really, really know that our uh, our CT director is listening. So hey, Doc, you heard that? Yeah, that was Josh stuff. I need I, I need about a hundred grand for a, a sky cam, <laughs> or, or, or you could rent us a blimp, put the one up there, or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Here we go. It'll be third down and eight okay. for Bummy United Temple Wolves. He says he, he's at Mary Harden Baylor now. Okay. It's not, it's not too far. Well, I say not too far. It's closer than Concordia, Con, Concordia, I tell you that. Yeah, both, both schools both school in the rebuilding mode. There's no way to sugarcoat it. We all know it. 
they, they're both in rebuilding, and um, and it's just the district that they're in is just the worst district to re rebuilding in, you know? Definitely so. The one thing it's hard to do is build in this 6A district here because you have so many, you know, heavy hitters, uh, especially when you're coming in with the uh, numbers of students that we have in comparison. But I tell you what, the grit that they have, we, we want to really, really, really applaud our coaches and our kids because the grit that they have to come out and feed every week, this is great. So here we go at the end of the first quarter here in Beaumont ISD Memorial Stadium in Beaumont, Texas. We see North Shore 20, Beaumont United 0. Let's see if this second quarter spells for better things. We we'll have Bowman United, third down and eight. Third down and eight. Tell you what, while they're setting up the lineup, let's get a word from our sponsor. New clubs. Nice. Where'd you get them? Reward points. What do you mean? Oh, with my Nature's debit card, I get reward points for everyday purchases. Purchases made every day. Why are you saying that so weird? And I get to redeem my points for rewards. Like these clubs. Oh, man. Are we in a Natchez commercial? And cut. Natchez Federal Credit Union debit card. Rewards for everyday purchases. Natchez Federal Credit Union. Family. Friends. Community. Here we go. And we're back. Third down and eight for Bowman United. Timberwolves on their own 30-yard line. It's the beginning of the second quarter. North Shore 20, Bowman 90 0. Passes up and oh, almost intercepted. Number seven came right back up and almost took that ball there. If he had caught that ball in stride, it'd have been a that, 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 that might have been six there. Number seven for North Shore really read that very, very well. Javian Anderson. Well, I tell you, I tell you what, uh, I tell you what, uh. As soon as as soon as the receiver got his hands on the ball, he he's met with a with a defender, and that's what that's what North Shore does Over does well. Front, um, we got um, <laughs> but uh, but uh, we got we got uh, Miss Dumas in the comments. How you doing, Miss Dumas? She she's royalty, man. She won Employee of the of the Year for Baptist. Hey, and you know they got a billion employees up there. My wife is one. Oh, oh man! Oh, oh number man. three for. Oh, oh sure, get him, Mustangs. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Good, good tackle. Taking good that tackle. ball all the way down. Good tackle, good tackle. On that punt Ball's return. By North Shore, number three, Evan to the five-yard five line. Number five. Stop by number 15, Anthony uh, Hopkins of Bowman United. It's a 54-yard return on that to bring up a first and goal for North Shore Mustangs at the United five-yard line. <laughs> With 20 seconds, <laughs> I guess we got an answer to our question, Marco. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't get my sky cam, Marco. I can't get my sky cam. I just need a hundred grand. That's it. <laughs> Here we go. It's a first and goal for Bowman for I'm sorry, North Shore Mustangs, and number 34 is in for the touchdown. Five-yard touchdown Five for number thirty-four, Rashad Johnson. Rashad Johnson. <laughs> and just like that. And Marco, games like this, it's okay. It's twenty-six zero. We uh, what? Twenty-five seconds until the third, second quarter. This is one of those games. Just like all right, just. Kind of like I said with PNG, just go down swinging. That's all I want to see. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not. I don't want to be unrealistic and say, all right, second half, let's come out and score 50 points in the third quarter. You know, I'm, I, I won't be unrealistic. But hey, let's, let's go down fighting and let's get prepared for next week. I tell you what, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how we can get an answer here. You know, North Shore has put it out there, but you know, we know that Bowman United has some weapons of their own, and once they get started, we can really, really see some things happen. So. Let's see what actually happens and what we do here with uh, 11 minutes and 35 seconds in the second quarter. North Shore Mustangs 27, Bowman United 0. You know, I wanted to address something that you did say just a second ago, Josh. You're right. You know, this district is the worst district to try to rebuild. Yeah. You just have, you, you know, you have so many of the teams that really, they don't rebuild. They just reload. They just reload. They, they, they have a, 
a heck of a senior class goes out, but then they have another strong freshman class comes in. There you go. And so, you know, really, truthfully, you just it's an uphill battle. But, you know, our kids, we can see them just fighting it through. And uh, we, we really, really appreciate it. Like we said earlier, the coaches as well as the – uh, the kids for being out here and hey parents if you're under the sound of our voice if you're under the sound of our voice you know make sure you like and subscribe as well as tell others about us you know our, this is for our kids for our students for our athletes so that they can be seen and they can know that we really really care and appreciate so let's make sure that we support them with viewing watching and on the kickoff, we see Bowman United let the ball bounce, but he was able to recover the ball and come out to the 21-yard line. Marco, we are nine away from 500. Hey, we have nine away from five. Great job. I'm, I'm still holding out hope that we can get to um, that we can get to uh, uh, 600 by the end of the night. 600, but I tell you what, we definitely can do it. I'm gonna stick with my 550, but I tell you what, we're gonna see, <laughs> we're gonna see at the end of the night who's triumphant, folks. I tell you what, 600 would be great. I definitely would love to see 600 subscribers at the end of the night. And if you're really enjoying this broadcast, again, please tell someone and share us, like us, subscribe to us, and make sure that you also send us some comments. We do want to know what you're thinking out there. Hey, speaking of comments, uh, Mr. Alex Deasy say, keep encouraging these kids no matter what. It'll get greater later. I, man, I, 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 I heard a, um, a quote, and it said, uh, uh, all things work out in the end. And if it's not worked out yet, that means it's not the end. So, hey, we, we still build them in, and, you know, as we has a bad snap there, we will also probably worry about 18 yards, 15 yards. Ball brought all the way back to the three-yard line for Bowman United Timberwolves. That was a high snap. Got away from the quarterback, and he was able to get it, but he took a hard hit by North Shore Mustangs. Bring him down for a second down and 28. Loss of 18 yards on the play. You know, being backed up in this territory here is pretty scary. Mm -hmm. You don't like being backed up right here. Yeah, one, one bad snap. Uh... One good blitz, you know, a lot, a lot can happen in this in, in this area. Hey, great run right here to get out of the end zone. Run by Timothy Morris. Oh, it's 27, I'm sorry. For a gain of about four yards on the play. Bring up a third down and 24 here in the second quarter at Beaumont Independent School District Memorial Stadium in Beaumont, Texas. Yeah, we got a... Creeping up on 10 minutes left in the first first half. You see the uh, North Shore uh, look like the, I don't know what they call them, the drill, not the drill team, like the like the Westbrook Stars. The dancers. The dancers, uh, I guess. Uh, the stars, yeah. They, they, they coming down. Um, Getting ready for some halftime action. Yeah. All right, here we go. Third down and 24 for Bum United Timberwolves, and the play is blown dead. Do we have a timeout, timeout here? Timeout, yeah. Timeout, timeout Bowman United. We have a timeout, Bowman United here. I'm pretty sure, you know, you want to talk this one over, make sure that you get everything settled for what's going to have to happen here with a third down and 24. With just under 10 minutes here in the second quarter in Bowman, Texas, at Bowman ISD Memorial Stadium. We know they can't hear us, but if you know someone that actually came to the game, thank them for coming out, showing our kids the support. You know, it's tough when you're in games like these, but a lot of times when you look into the stands and you see someone you know, it makes you play and fight harder. So while we're in this timeout, let's get a word from our sponsor.
third and 24 for Bombing United on their own seven yard line. Second quarter. Number yeah. 11, back to pass. Ball is up and. Oh, oh, oh it is it. incomplete. Yeah. Incomplete. Yeah, he dropped it. He came down with it, but couldn't hold on to it as he was going down to the ground, and that was an incomplete interception. <laughs> and it's fourth down and long. So it'll be fourth down. Um, that almost would have been a, a third down punt, kind of, you know what I'm Actually, saying? Actually, to an extent, you know, i yeah. tell you what, uh, my years of coaching and what have you, on sometime on third and longs, we tell them, hey, go on ahead and put that bomb up there, because if they do intercept it, guess what? <laughs> it's just like a punt anyway. Yeah, absolutely. So here we go. We see fourth and 24, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be a punt. Oh, low-lying punt. Takes a great Let bounce. Let that thing roll. Let that thing roll. It's give, give my T-shirt. rolling all the way. Give my T-shirt. To the 48-yard line. No, my motto. Let that thing roll. Sorry for the North Shore 49-yard line. We're not sure. We'll take over. Be first down and ten, North Shore Mustangs taking over on the on their own 49-yard line right at midfield. Here with nine minutes and 37 seconds remaining in the first half, North Shore Mustangs 27, Bowman United zero. Here we go. About to snap the ball. Ball is snapped. Number nine, number quick four. Pass, quick pass. Oh, gotta hit that tackle. And he breaks one tackle, comes down the sideline. That's by Kayla Berry. All the way down to the 32-yard line. Pick up of 19 yards. You know, uh, Bowman United had him yeah. on the initial catch, but mm -hmm. couldn't hold on to him. Yeah. And That's slippery. Oh, they can, number nine. They can quick hike. Oh, oh good. Great. Play by Good number sack. seven. Good sack. Sacked in the backfield by United number seven, Brian Jackson. Brian Jackson. He you know, looked like the quarterback the was trying to get – quarterback was trying to juke, juke out of there, but, you know, he got to him. He was able to get enough of him to mm. get him down yeah, he, the, yeah, he to the came, ground. He came Lost flying hard off that edge, man, and we need a lot more of that. What, that was a loss of what? Loss of nine on the play there. Hey, I like it. Second down and 19 for the North Shore Mustangs. Ball on the Bowman United 41 yard line. And there's the snap. Quick pass. Quick pass out, and it is incomplete. Incomplete. Pass intended for number two. Evan Jackson. I'm sorry, Christopher Barnes. Let it bring up a third down and long, which third down and 19 for North Shore Mustangs. Ball on the Bowman United 41 yard line here with eight minutes and 44 seconds remaining in the second quarter. And the snap is up. Fakes through the running back. And number nine comes off of the edge and takes number nine down. Which number nine is brought down by number nine. Great play to come off the edge and held on to him. Looked like he was going to squirm him away, but he made sure to wrap him up and get him down. That's what I mean. That's what I, hey, that's what I mean, man. Just go down fighting. It's a loss of Force six the on the play. Fourth down and 25. So we see Bowman United has forced North Shore to punt here. You know, it would be nothing greater than to uh, get a return. Oh, it looks like it's going to. Oh, oh, it man, looked like it was, was going to be a fake. <laughs> but, whoa, nice. Oh, ha. Get away punt. from it. Oh, yeah, good. And good the good. punt is in the end zone. Jackson what a touch into the end zone. Touchback. That was a good take over the ball on the 20-yard line. It definitely was a, uh, a good punt. That was a great punt. It's more like that rugby punt, rugby-style punt where mm -hmm. you run off the edge. And the thing is, if you don't cover that, they'll keep running. Yep. I've seen a lot of teams get first downs with that one. But here we go. They covered that and was able to get it off. But that was a nice high kick. You know, what some people don't know is if you can kick that ball really high in the air, it allows your defense to get down there before uh, the ball can be even caught. So you can keep people from actually running out of 
running out on you. So, mm -hmm. you know, a punter that can get the ball high in the air is a great asset for a team. Mm -hmm. And here we go. We see Vaughn United taking over on their own 20-yard line. First down and 10 with 7 minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the second quarter. And we have quick pass to the right. Gain of about four yards on the play. And we see number 11 is in at quarterback. Mr. Oop, sorry. <laughs> Wrong one right there. I, might, I knew that wasn't the name there. Number 11, Gilbert Anderson the third. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my sister. My sister best friend. Well, one of my sister's best friends, son. Okay. Mm -hmm. We see number 11 in at quarterback. For Bowman United hey. Timberwolves. Hey, let's go, Alex. Alex, Alex said we're getting six this draw. Hey. I like it. And here we go. Second down and six for Bowman United. Hand off to number 33. Ooh, if he could have gotten Man. off of that side, he had great speed to get out of there. Man, they'd be one one broke, broken tackle away, man. Just one. A gain of two. Could have been a gain of 32. Mm -hmm. But that will bring up a third down and four. For Bowman United, ball in their own 26-yard line. <laughs> when Marcus Johnson say, what it do, baby? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're seeing what it do right here. We've got to get something done, though. Here with six minutes and 35 seconds remaining in the first half. You know, I think it would bring a lot of life into here to get this, this third down. Third and four. And oh, oh. number 11 was... Quarterback keeper, Gilbert Anderson, pick up of about a, a yard on the play. Looked like he was just stopped. Yeah. As soon as he went to the hole, everything yeah. just stopped. That's what I was going to say. He, he ran into a hole there, and there, and there was no holes, nowhere to be found. Not at all. That'll bring up mm -hmm. a fourth down and three for Bowman United. Ball on their own 27 yard line here in the uh, second quarter. Little under six minutes remaining. Punt team comes on for United. Yeah, they're like they're gonna punt it away here, Marco. Well, I would think so. You know, you want to play the game with field. Right, Marco, what I told you, I play too much Madden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for it. Fourth and fourth and fifty-seven, Marco. I'm finna call oh up some God. trick play. I play too much Madden, Marco. Let me find out you a cowboy. Oh, what happened? What, what are you walking the back for? Delay game. Oh, delay a game on the off. Oh, delay a game. Five-yard penalty. Bring Bowman United back and be fourth down and eight on this punt right here from the Bowman United 22-yard line. Guess those five yards really won't matter that much, huh? Yeah, because because he's gonna make it roll anyway. He's gonna make it roll. The punts be 20 yards, but they but they roll for another 30. Yo, hey, you got a oh, that's high a high punt, punt right here. there. That hit somebody. And it go out of bounds. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't. I didn't. I seen it go up. I didn't see it come down. Never did see it come back down. Looks like they're on. He's still walking. Okay, they're on the 37, 36, not 37. So the Mustangs, North Shore Mustangs, will take over. First and ten on Bowman United, 37 yard line. Yeah. Marcus said you got to throw the ball on 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 them boys. Otherwise they'll load up. They definitely loading up that box and they got some. They got some big boys in that box, Marco. Oh, definitely so. You can see even the linebackers have massive size on them. But the line that they have down there, that, that five-man front is really wreaking havoc on our Bowman United Timberwolves tonight. And swing pass out to number two. Oh, that boy has some Man. feet, has some great moves Man. brought hey, down. Hey, somebody from North Shore. So we got uh, five about five minutes remaining in the first half. Uh, somebody from North Shore, let me know how does North Shore track team is because these boys are fast, Marco. Definitely so. We also see that hurry up offense right there. Hand off to number twenty. Is that number twenty six? Twenty eight. As good as mine, Marco. Yo, get, oh, get up, get up, Twenty eight. Look like we got. And we have down, another Marco. player down on the field for Bowman United Timberwolves. And we have a timeout for injury. Now, here's a video from our 
Career Technical Education Department. Hey, I'm Shemaine Cormier, the K-8 Career Readiness Specialist for Beaumont ISD Career and Technical Education Department. And today, we had an amazing event. We had a build a boat, hope it floats, rain, gutter, regatta here at Sally Curtis. And what the purpose of the event was to uh, introduce our students to maritime careers. So come on with me and let's go see how we introduce our students. And we're back. We will finish that video in a few. We see Bowman United. Oh, great stop right there for Department number by number 44 of Bowman United. United 44. Made Here's sure that no gain. made sure that he play. held on. No oh, gain on the play. Marco, hit this. They say they won state in track two. I see the speed out there, Marco. Well, I that's why I had to ask, Marco. That's exactly how. And we got 420 remaining in the, in the second quarter. That's why I had to look how, look how fast he got through that hole, Marco. I, I'm looking at it. I mean, you know, that line opens up one hole and he gets to the second and third level. You know, it's not good when your safeties are making most of your tackles. Yeah, he, man, it's. But what you notice, it's fourth down and one. For, Get him in the back. And. Well, that'll be a first down for North Shore Mustangs. You notice they're going to that hurry-up offense. Yeah, that, and Whereas you can't really set your defense very well for what offense you're looking at. You know, it's worked out very, very well for them. Let's be first and goal for North Shore Mustangs. Hey, they, uh, we got a comment say, being a part of the track team helps the players with their speed and endurance, not just on the field, whatever sport they choose to participate in. Uh, there's actually... So I was, uh, I can't remember who it was. I don't know if it was Nick Saban or Jimbo Fisher, but one of them said they don't even recruit kids, like at skill positions if they don't, if they don't run track. Really? Yeah. All over the top. Ooh, North good. Shore, and it is a touchdown. Wow, that was an excellent throw. Put perfectly over the top. And number two went up and grabbed it and came down with an excellent catch by North Shore Mustangs. That was just a great throw and catch right there, folks. Yeah, that was – and then you can say about that one. He, he, he threw it where his receiver can get it. That's it. And the receiver went and got it. Right, well, that, that's, the way it was, that's the way it was drawn up. Textbook play there. And here we go. Extra point is up, and it is good. And here with three minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the half. North Shore, 34. You have North Shore Mustangs, 34. Bowman United Timberwolves, zero. You know, as we get ready to do our halftime show, don't forget, send in your third quarter shout out so we can make sure that we shout you out in third quarter. I don't know if you started sending them in yet, but please send your third quarter shout outs and whoever you're shouting out, make sure that they're on and listening and tell them, yeah. like and subscribe. They say number two and number nine are brothers from North Shore. I can tell you what, we can tell who's been running away from who. <laughs> <laughs> Chasing them around the house, huh? Hey, you know, the speed shows right there, and you definitely tell when they're uh, number two going up to catch that ball. You know what? They must have done that in the backyard a million times. Yeah, buddy. They fast, man. They fast. And like I say, and then. Now, here we go. With three minutes and 25 seconds remaining, North Shore. On top, 34, Bowman United, zero. It'd be great to get a score before halftime. At least get on the board. Let's see how Bowman United will answer the call here. Yeah, he said, they say, uh, Common says, track team just like the football team. Your track team should be mostly football players, you ask me. Skill, I mean, skill positions for your, uh, your, your, your relays or whatnot. Uh, oh, what are you? Oh, okay, okay, good, good. Um, and then, you know, your big boys, that's why you stood event, so. Definitely so. Your track team and your, um, your track team and your football team should be very closely related. Yeah, very. We notice right here on that, uh, kickoff, it was almost mishandled right there by Bowman United, but ends up going into the end zone. So they bring the ball out to the 20-yard line. Bowman United will take over on their own 25 Yard line, be first and ten. Bowman got United. A, I got a question. Say how? How? Uh, um, I'm, I'm guessing Alex Jackson, North Shore basketball team. 
if that's the case, they're 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 kind of in a rebuild mode too. They're not uh, the same no show that they uh, used to be. I'll tell you what, their football and track team just keep reloading, but their their the basketball team. That's one program there that actually you can see rebuilds at times. We got a special guest, Marco. Be hey. Be as the, the uh, board member, Stacy Lewis. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Lewis? It's so great to see this year in the live stream. And, hey, we appreciate the shout out. We are doing everything we can to make sure that these kids know that we really, really care about them. And Bowman ISD is put here on the map. We really appreciate everything you do as a trustee, as well as all of our board trustees and our board presidents. Thank you all for serving our community. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, now, like I, the, the R word came up, the recruiting word. Okay. Um, I don't know, but I just know the rules are a lot more lax in bigger cities like in Houston and Dallas. The rules are a lot more lax as far as like transfers and whatnot, because you know you transfer here, like you transfer from BU to to Westbrook, that's a year. Don't don't even don't even think about playing to another calendar year. And you know in other in other states, I mean sorry, in other cities, uh, especially the bigger cities, the rules are a lot more lax. Brings up third down. Well, you know in the bigger cities or whatever, you know UIL have. Uh, have their rules and their guidelines and things that everybody have to follow to try and make sure <clears throat> that everyone's, you know, it's a level playing field. But the one thing we still also know is not just even with the recruitment or what have you, you know, a uh, school will recruit itself. You win a state championship Absolutely. as many times as they want. Absolutely. You Absolutely. Know? If you, if you, hey, people like winners, bro. And if, 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 if one school is constantly winning, all the players that play this sport, oh, man, look at the, look how quick they got in that backfield. Oh, good pass. Oh, oh. great. Oh, you know, it looks like just a lack of focus right there on it. Looked like the receiver thought the play was already busted say, up. I, 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 I bet you he was thinking he was still trying to throw it away. Uh, he, he was thinking the play was busted up already, but uh, we see that, man, the two ends came off the edge so fast that the quarterback yeah, was man. running for his life. Man, before I could even get a word out, they had two people in that, uh, in that backfield. I tell you what, it was great that he was able to get it off yeah. and stay focused enough not to make a turnover or even fumble that ball because they're too close to their goal line. I want to do that again. It'd be fourth down and ten right here for Bowman United. Are they about to punt on their own 25-yard line? Didn't move the ball there that sequence. High punt going out of bounds. I mean, what happened to the roll, man? Come on, now don't don't you start getting cute on us. Well, you got to think about it. You know, you have to have to. Hit in bounds for it to be able to roll somewhere. And it looks like that was probably about a best set. 12 yard punt. Best set, let that go, best set. Then it'll be first and 10, North Shore Mustangs with two minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the half. Ball on the Bowman United Temple Wolf 31 yard line. Got about less than two thirty. Quarterback oh, screen, screen fast to number thirty-four. He has look great at, man. Look at those linemen, Marco. Man, those linemen are running and they're blocking. Somebody from North Shore, do y'all do y'all linemen run track too? Cause they were, bro. They were they were downfield, bro. I'll tell you what, they used to have what's called the big boy races. Yeah, I remember those. I remember those. <laughs> it was funny too. It was right before the relay started. Yes, sir. Oh man, that was. Fun. I wonder anybody been to a track meet in the last few years? Cause I haven't. Uh, do they still do the big man relay? Um, I think it was, what it was four by one. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let us know if they still do the big man relays. Here we go. It'll be first down and goal. Ball on the one yard line for the North Shore Mustangs and. Number 34, straight up the middle is in. Touchdown. North Shore Mustangs here in Beaumont at Beaumont ISD Memorial Stadium with a minute and 56 remaining. Extra point is coming, but it's North Shore 40, Beaumont United 0. And the kick is up, and it is good. One minute and 56 North seconds 41, remaining. Bowman North United Shore, 41, United. and Bowman United, zero. You know, <clears throat> I can say one thing that's a definite. 
it's a good thing this is not a road game. Absolutely. Because then you don't have a long bus ride to the house. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when you think about that, the only thing you can think is, oh my gosh, and I still have to, I still have two and a half hours to get home. <laughs> they say, they say, they say in the comments, and of course I was joking, guys. They say they big men don't run track. They just do a lot of condition. They say Coach K loves making them run. Tell you what, you know, it's nothing like a big man that can actually get out there. And I tell you what, on that screen pass, we saw four big men that was brought him all the way to the one-yard line. And they were blocking and running and running down the field with him. That's one thing you can say. That's what makes it work. Mm -hmm. When your big man can move, that makes for a great team. Absolutely. One minute and 56 seconds remaining. North Shore Mustangs. Lining up for the kickoff. We see the bands and things getting ready to give us some entertainment for halftime. You know, we want to send a shout out to all of the you go. Get your run back. band directors. Assistant band directors, cheerleading sponsors, all the stars, and whatever your drill team sponsors are. We want to send a shout out to all you guys also because without you guys, we wouldn't have a chance to showcase what our students can do also and have more opportunities for our students to showcase their talents. We, we got a comment. All you do. We got a comment asking about uh, Martin. Uh, I'm trying to see do I see him with his do he still have his pads on because he's not on the field. Uh, they still have Gilbert Anderson in, but um, as of right now, I don't see uh, Jonathan Martin on. Must the, be at the tent. I don't see him on the field. As soon as later, we'll, we'll have a we'll have a reporter down there uh, give, keeping us uh, keeping us updated. But you know that's um, that's that's still to come. We still got what about five six more weeks. Oh, of course, of course, of course. And you know we never know. We never know what 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 happened there. We may see him again in this game. Are they re-kicking it? We're not sure what's going on. What was the call? Did you hear what he said? I didn't hear him. I'm sorry. Not at all. They look like they're re-kicking the, um, they re the uh, North Shore to re-kick. It's, it's an apparent leg injury, look like. Um, well, let's see. Let's see. They marked off five yards, so it must have been offsides on the kicking team, which is North Shore. Yeah which is a five-yard penalty, and you can choose for them to re-kick or take what you got. So we see that Bowman United has decided to have North Shore re-kick from the 35-yard line. I say North Shore University. <laughs> At school, looks like a university when you go there, trust. It's a big old school, man. And we have a line drive kick that is – Let's go. You got by Bowman United three. from the three yard line. Oh, and he ran into a brick wall there. Number 22. Number 22. D'Amico Prince. Man, that was a pretty hard lick. And he squared up, square chest. That was a lick there. It's great to see him get up and walk off the field after that one. With a minute and 45 seconds remaining. In the second quarter here in Beaumont, Texas at Beaumont ISD Memorial Stadium, we have North Shore Mustangs 41, Beaumont United 0. Beaumont United taking over the ball on their own 15-yard line. You know, uh, I don't think we've seen Beaumont United get across midfield so far tonight. Let's see if we can put a drive together right before halftime. Get on the board to give us a little life. Ball in 33, and he is immediately brought down. Looks like Ball by 33, number 99 Brooks. and number 95 on the tackle. Courtney Brooks. Courtney Brooks. Oh number 95. man, my, my bad. I had I had a comment up. My bad. What's up, Marcus? I'm sorry. I had a comment up to say what's up, Josh. I didn't realize I clicked on it. I'm sorry. Oh, it's 41. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. We got about. One seven one fifteen remaining in the first half. Um, the uh, halftime is twenty eight minutes, so uh, 
We will we will let you guys hear from the band. Hey, have we got any third quarter shout outs yet? No, not yet. Any, not uh, yet. Say folks, don't forget to get put in your third quarter shout outs. Here we go, Bowman United with the carry. Ball up the middle. Great push from the line there. Gain of about up the middle. Up seven, yards. seven yards on the play. Be a third down third and three. Down and three. For the Bowman United Timberwolves. Yeah, he, uh, they comment, they say he took that lick like a man. He did. Oh, that, that, was, that, he did. that was a solid tackle. That, that was like textbook. Like, he wrapped him up. He did everything right. But he got up and, hey. Now, he might have went to the sideline and said, whoo-wee. <laughs> but but uh, he walked out the field like a man. Tell you what, he held on to the ball also, which is a great feat right there. Mm -hmm. We've seen the fumbles on that many times. Here we go. Handoff through the middle for Bowman United Timberwolves. And immediately brought down after a gain of about a well, half a yard, which – Oh, and we have flags out here on the play. What's going on? Uh, looks like some unsportsmanlike conduct. On them, uh, we're going to see. They may put it on both of us. It may be on just one. We'll see what the official call is from the referees. Referees confirmed in the field. Let's see what the call is. Which one is the main row? Yeah, white cap. Okay. Well, that's that's a giveaway. Dead ball foul. Personal foul. Sports for life. Shot. Number two. That's a half just to go. Oh, wow. We have a number two for Bowman United called for unsportsmanlike conduct. Backs him up uh, half the distance to the goal. Our first uh, third quarter shout out came in, and it's from a um, it's from a uh, uh, um, long time supporter. Really? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to. I give you one. a hint, Appaloosa, Louisiana. Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll get to that in the third quarter. We'll get to that. We got about five seconds coming up on halftime here, guys. So, um, so before we well before we get before the band load up. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get to a commercial. Um, but at the end of the first half, we have North Shore uh, 41, Beaumont United 0. Uh, so after this um, after this word from our sponsor, uh, then we'll get to the uh, halftime um, activities. New clubs. Nice. Where'd you get them? Reward points. What do you mean? Oh, with my Nature's debit card, I get reward points for everyday purchases. Purchases made every day. Why are you saying that's so weird? And I get to redeem my points for rewards. Like these clubs. Ah. Oh, man. Are we in a Natchez commercial? And cut. Natchez Federal Credit Union debit card. Rewards for everyday purchases. Natchez Federal Credit Union. Family. Friends. Community.
Scarlet Military Officers are Junior Lieutenant Renee Sanchez, Senior Lieutenant Erica Morales, Co-Captain Ashley Walter, and Captain Hasmin Jimenez. The Scarlet of the Week is Nehemiah Ford Robertson. The Spirit Girl of the Week is Bianca Bautista. And the Officer of the Week is Erica Morales. The Scarlets would like to dedicate their performance to the North Shore cheerleaders. Thank you for being the best. And now the Scarlets will be performing their jazz routine to Levitating. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's performance of the award-winning 2022-2023 North Shore Senior High Marching Band. This year's marching show is entitled The Other Side, and tonight the band will perform their contest show in its entirety. The drum majors for the 2022-2023 season are Morgan Garrett, Kayla Solis, Chris Hernandez, Manuel Sanchez, and Sarai Montoya. Now please sit back and enjoy tonight's performance of the 2022 North Shore Senior High Band.
North Shore Senior High Band is under the direction of Shane Goforth, Michael Tenalio, and Brandon Lair. The color guard director is Bucky Flores. The percussion director is Jay Davis. Visual staff members are Brian Alanis, Paul
Juan Garcia, Daisy Garcia, London Richard, Haley Villanueva, and Griselda Guzman. The principal of North Shore Senior High is Dr. Joe Coleman. The principal of North Shore 10th grade campus is Mr. Kenneth Bryant. And the principal of North Shore 9th grade campus is Mr. David Pearson. The Fine Arts Director of Galena Park ISD is Mr. Sam Harris. And the Superintendent of Galena Park ISD is Dr. John Moore. Thank you for your attention and enjoy the rest of the game. to make some noise for the best band in the land, the Beaumont United Soul of the South Marching Band. The band is led on the field by the Motions of Soul drum majors Catherine Miranda, Casey Hadnow, and Valeria Velasquez. Drum majors call the band to attention.
Updating other scores. Late second quarter, CE King 28 on bowl nothing. Second quarter, West Orange Star 14, Silsby 10. Second quarter, Jasper 7, Liberty 2. Second quarter, Hampshire Connect 7, Bridge City nothing. Halftime, Woodville 14, Dieball 14. Second quarter, Anawak 23, Harden 6. Second quarter, Kirbyville 16, East Chambers 8. Second quarter, Orangefield 21, Buna 7. Halftime, Anderson Shiro 19, Coons nothing. Halftime, Newton 53, Warren 6. And late second quarter, Tascacita 28, Kingwood nothing.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the Beaumont United Timberwolves and the North Shore Mustangs. And we're back at the beginning of the second half. Beginning of the second half here in Beaumont, Texas at Memorial Stadium in, I'm oh, sorry, Beaumont ISD Memorial Stadium in Beaumont, Texas. Got my words to tongue, tongue twisted. Back deep, number 81, Kamani Hudson, number 17. Looking like Beaumont United, zero, North Shore Mustang Sporty one. That was a pretty rough first half for the Beaumont United Timberwolves, and we see Bowman United will be kicking off to start the second half to North Shore Mustangs. Kicking off for the Timberwolves, number 32, Alex Saran. We got number 32, Alex Saran. Ball is up high, short kick. Caught by number 22 of the North Shore Mustangs, and he took off as soon as he caught the ball. Short but great trip up on the play Tackled by Bowman United. Better bring up a first down and 10 for the North Shore Mustangs on the on their own 39 yard line. First down, Mustangs. I know we'll see in the second half, you know, adjustments in halftime. I know coaches made some adjustments, uh, some lineup possible adjustments, as well as some different assignments. So I know we'll see some different things here. Let's see if North Shore sticks to their game plan. Oh, we see number 12 in at quarterback for North Shore Mustangs. And number 20, oh, pass complete to number 20. Gain of about three yards on the play. Up by United, number nine, Cameron we noticed that, uh, three, see, number 12 for North Shore Mustang is Darius Garland in at quarterback. And we see that run, run pass, that RPO run pass option. He actually gave the ball in for a pickup of about, for a pickup of about, Seven yards on the play. Oh, they actually give the first down. So it will be first down and 10 for North Shore Mustangs on their, their own 49-yard line right at midfield. We go first down and 10 for North Shore Mustangs and... Passes incomplete. Garland pass incomplete for number 81, Kamani Hudson. Intended for number 81, Kamani second Hudson. Down. That'll bring up a so second down and 10. On the coverage for United. For the North Shore Mustangs. Ball still right at midfield. What we notice North Shore has made some subs and changes to the lineup. Oh, high snap over the head of the quarterback. For North Shore, and he was able to get on it and rolled all the way back down to their own 30 yard line. Be a 19 yard loss on the play. Be third down and 29 for North Shore Mustangs. Ball in their own 30 yard line. Third 
third and 29 with 10 minutes and 15 seconds in the third quarter. Fake the handoff. Hitch pass to for a great pickup for North Shore, but it's still shy after first down. Pickup of about 15 yards short of the first down, fourth down, and long. 15. Got to bring up a fourth down and 14. On the punt, number 80, Carlos Dominguez. On the punt, you have number 80, Carlos Dominguez. Punting to number two of Bowman United, Jalen Moore. And the snap is out. Kick is up. Takes a Mustang bounce all the way down to the 17 yard line. Where Bowman United will take over. Be first down and 10 for Bowman United on their own 17 yard line. We'll see right now if we can get some better offensive movement of the ball for Bowman United. We still don't have an update on Jonathan Martin. We'll let you know something as soon as we get an opportunity. United quarterback number 11, Gilbert Anderson. Quarterback number 11, Gilbert Anderson, takes the field. Man, I, I kind of want to go next door and ask. Uh, I want to go ask him what's going on with um, with uh, with Martin. Are they keeping him out for a precaution or, or just something worse? Well, we see the handoff. Handoff to Timothy Morris. One yard pickup. One yard pickup. One yard pickup on the play, bring up a second down and nine for the Bowman United Timberwolves. Here in the third quarter, ball in their own 18 yard line. You know, they've had a really difficult time moving the ball against this um, Mustang defense. This Mustang defense has been very stingy tonight. And number 11, pass complete to number three. And he breaks one tackle and is still brought down by number 43 of uh, North Shore Mustangs. But you bring up third down and eight. Gain of one yard, third down and eight on their own 19 yard line. Eight minutes remaining in the third quarter. Not sure what it's going to take to see for Bowman United to move the ball. This will be a great third down to pick up. And pass to number one. And it's a double pass. Oh, trick play, but it is picked up. Wow. Read perfectly. By number 29 of North Shore Mustangs, he showed great poise to stay at home. And as soon as the pass was caught, looked like he had room, but number 29 met him. But all in all, it's a first down for Bowman United Timberwolves. You know, I haven't said that much tonight, but it's great to say first down. Bowman hey, what United, a play, man. Shout out to two-time state champion trailing the – that play was dead, man, and he and he uh he definitely made that play. Look at this run. Let's go. Hey, it looks like they're trying to put some things together right here. We have number 33. Timothy number 33, side. Timothy Morris. Number 18, Charles Ross. 13 yards. Finding a hole on the right side of the line. First down. Can't really wide, really wide. Tip of Wolf first down. Ball in their 40 on their own 41 yard line. Hey, I know I haven't said first down this much in the game. And so far, we have two first downs here in the third quarter for Bowman United. Here we go. Let's see if we can keep moving the ball here. Hand off to number 33. Breaks one tackle. Oh, man, he running hard. He is brought down. He running hard, Marco. After breaking one tackle. 
Hey, he running hard, Marco. I like it. I like it, baby. We woke up. Let's go. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up a second down and four. You know, I tell you what, Josh, uh, we're starting to actually see some holes open up. But what we are seeing is we're seeing a little determination here. Yeah. yeah. You know, in trying to get this ball to move in. You know, maybe that trick play really woke something up there. Marco, what I say all the time, just go down fighting, man. Definitely so. And I tell you what, we see some fight right here. Second down and four. Ball on their own 47-yard line. Handoff to number 33. And he is very, very close to the first down marker. Referee did not give him a very favorable spot. That'll bring up a third down and two. And two. Ball right at midfield here in the third quarter with five minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Be a third down and two for Bowman United. And handoff again to number 33, but met by number 43. And number 37. Man, that was stopped immediately for no gain. It'll be a fourth down and two for Bowman United Temple Wolves. What do you do right here, Josh? What do you do? Do you go and just say, let's get some life in this thing? Or do you just... Now, Marco, you, you know here? my answer, Marco. I play too much Madden, Marco. Oh, there we go. I'm going for it on 4th and 200, Marco. So. <laughs> <laughs> on 4th in the parking lot. He's oh, going for it. Oh, oh, and it's a fake. And he was still shook up by number 37, but finished off by number 43. Of North Shore Mustangs and North Shore will take over on downs. And, and you know, man, they was moving the ball good there. You know, he just got tripped up in the backfield, man. Well, you know, sometimes that first, uh, you elude that first tackle, it kind of slows you down enough for somebody else to get to you. And that's exactly what happened. He may have been able to pick that yardage up had he been able to stay on his feet. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But we still have a first down and 10 for the North Shore Mustangs. Ball on the 46-yard line, handoff to number 22. Ball carried by 22, D'Amico Prince. Prince. Picked up by United number seven, Brian Jackson. Pick up of three yards on the play will bring up a second down and seven for North Shore Mustangs. And at the snap of the ball, we see the players. The play is called dead. Looks like a timeout. For Beaumont United Timberwolves. Uh, while we have a timeout going on, please, there's a word from our sponsors. time building, painting, and decorating their boats and racing them down the rain gutter. We and we're back. Second down and seven for the Mustangs. And looks like another screen play was coming. But just couldn't get his hands on the ball. Intended for number intended for number twenty. Najee Blackman. That'll bring up a third down and seven for North Shore Mustangs. Ball on the Bowman United 43-yard line. Oh, we have a flag on the play. Some laundry on the field here. Oh, and Bowman United is called for roughing the passer, which is a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Yeah, they uh, they uh, after they got the screen off, they hit them. They they actually tagged him. Oh wow! Uh, but it was just a little too late. And I know how I feel, man. When you're trying to get in that backfield and you can't, 
you can't get back there. And when you finally get back there, you're like, look, I'm finna tackle somebody. <laughs> but I tell you what, those are the kind of penalties that really, really wreak havoc on a coach. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to make sure our coaches, you know, want us to make sure we stay disciplined completely because we can't take those kind of penalties. Right. Okay. Here we go. It'll be second down and 10 after no gain on first down and 10 for the North Shore Mustangs. Ball on the Bowman United 28-yard line with 355 remaining in the third quarter. And it looks like another screen set up, but Bowman United is right there and ready for it. He had a host of Bowman United players there looking for that screen, and that screen went nowhere. That'll bring up a third down and 13. Ball on the Bowman United 31-yard line for North Shore Mustangs. Let's give us a stop right here, man. Let's go. Um well, they might go for it. They ain't kicking no field goal this far. That's a what? Uh, 47? 40, what? 48? Would it be in third down and 13 right here and here? I don't, see, I don't see them doing any field goal action right now. Uh, looks like he's back to pass. Oh. The pass is up. And, oh, oh yeah, he just he dropped. missed. Timing looked like it was a little bit off. Four. Intended for number 84, uh, Cameron Smith. That'll bring up a fourth down. Fourth down and 13 for North Shore Mustangs on the Bowman United 31 yard line. You know, see, now here is where I would think you see a fake punt. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. They're right not playing this. On this right. time Look, I was wrong last time. <laughs> I would go on record and say I was wrong last time. No way they punting this, Marco. I tell you what, man, I, I can't see them actually punting this one either, but it's a possibility that they will. Just a nice high punt. Oh, I'm wrong again, Marco. Well, I tell you what, I'm surprised to see it be punted also, but look at this here. Oh, put it him in a coffin. It takes a perfect Down landing and line. bounce. Bring it all the way down to the two-yard line where Bowman put United will take over. Put him in a over. coffin. Man, that that's is. That's what they call that one, put him in a coffin. Tell you what, what uh, they did was they made Down sure the that they backed him all the way up. And you have to march 98 yards down the field if you want to get into the end zone on this one. It'll be first down and 10. Bowman United Timberwolves. Hey, did we have any third quarter shout outs that we needed to oh, shout tell out? Them, tell them to get them in, Marco. So what, come on now, y'all. Third quarter shout outs. Y'all know what it is. Bring it in. Bring it out. Last week, we had so many shout outs. Well, not last week, but the one before. We had so many shout outs, it was hard to keep up. Come on, send us some shout outs in, folks. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send a shout out to my co-host, Mr. Josh Lamb. Hey, shout out, Marco. <laughs> send a shout out to my co-host right here, man. It is hey, you know what? That, you know what? Let's, let, let's get us a shout out in, man. Shout out to our culinary department. If you need it, need something uh, um, catered, give him Miss uh, Betty, Miss Betty Evans. Uh, you can give her a call 409-617-5740 or email at the email on the screen if you need an event catered. Need a wedding catered? We'll take care of you. What, what you got? A baby shop? We got you. Just give us a call. Send us an email. Hey. Shout out to hey, shout out to Ms. Evans. She made some uh, she made some uh, what that is? Pasta and uh, pasta green beans. Nice. Chicken pasta, green beans. Yeah, man, I, I can't wait to get home, man. Tell you what, I, I starting to think maybe I shouldn't have eaten before. <laughs> You're not going nowhere, buddy. You stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes left in the third quarter. You stuck it with me. Here we go. Ball brought out to the Bowman United 16-yard line. Here we go. It'll be first down and 10. Well, maybe not. The referees have to confer. Okay, looks like a timeout. Bowman United. Hey, look who in the comments. Timeout, Bowman United. Challenge, challenge, challenge River say best in the business. No, man. You the best in the business, man. Shout out, man. Shout out. Hey, true freshman. Head dude. Doing his thing, man. Hey, I love you. You love to see it, man. He was here last year. Right right here where these kids was at. He was here. Now, now, now he's in Durham. I said Cameron last time. He's in Durham. He's in Durham, he's in Durham. He's in Durham doing his thing, man. Shout out. Shout out to Chandler Rose, man. Shout out to you, brother. Appreciate you for tuning in all the way out there in uh, Cam. Uh, Look, like I said it again. All the way out there in Durham, man. 
Hey, we want to thank you for tuning in too because it is so great to have our alumni. Oh, look, we got a couple tricking in, trick, I'm tricking back. in. So I'm, I'm gonna get them on the screen for you, Marco. All right, that'll work. Let's get some of these shout outs in, folks. Here we go. Shout out to us. Hey, thank you, Miss Garcia. I don't know anyone who might be listening, but I tell you what, we're listening and we greatly appreciate hey. that you're here too. Hey, if, you, if you're listening and you uh, know Miss Garcia, leave her a comment. Let her know you 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 you're listening. Here we go. Look like action's about to start again. North Shore. Whoa. Oh, what was that? It was a fake, but the pass. It looks like that the quarterback and the receivers were not on the same page. Receiver didn't get his head across at all. Hey, look, this name may ring a bell to you. Shout out. That's yeah, Miss Brown. Right all the way Shout from out to the grandson number forty-one, Tyreek Brown of Beaumont United. But you know, and and you know, we we joke a lot with Miss Brown, but in all in all seriousness. People like Ms. Brown are definitely why we do this because she live all the way in Appaloosas and it'll be unrealistic as North Shore runs to the end zone here. Uh, it'll be unrealistic of, of me to ask her to come to every game from Appaloosas and drive to Beaumont every Friday, you know what I mean? But, hey, you don't have to come. We'll, we'll take care of it for you. We'll, we'll put it on YouTube for free, and you can tune in all you want. And, you know, the greatest thing about it is your students, your kids, and what have you can always go back and look at this yep. video and know, hey, yep. my grandmother, my dad, my somebody, my yep. cousin, my yep. cat was watching. Yep. That's one thing they can never tell Miss Brown. They can never say she didn't support because she tuned in. So. Definitely so. We got another one. Shout out to Miss Thomas. Uh, shout out to 89 of North, North Shore, Caleb Thomas. Let's go. Let's go. Miss Stephanie Thomas, thank you for sending a shout out in. And we're greatly, greatly, greatly appreciative of you watching this show. Hey, if you like, subscribe. And that way you can come in at any time. And it'll give you info about what we're doing here as the kick goes up. And the extra point is good. Here in the third quarter at Beaumont ISD Memorial Stadium, you have North Shore Mustangs, 48. Bowman United. Zero. Look, we got, look, we got another one. Uh, coach says, "BISD strong, absolutely, always, always." We got uh, Sheila McJail says, "Shout out to number 12, Brandon Duhon." Uh, Miss Brown said, "If I if I could if I could I would be there." We know Miss Brown. We I'll tell you what, you are here, you are here. And look, we got one, Marco, and I got to make an announcement, Marco. Mr. Denley, man, I appreciate you for watching. He said, shout out to the commentary. Chemistry is great. Uh, Mr. Denley is going to be breaking up next week. Me, me and Marco are getting divorced. Oh, man. I got I to gotta step away from the commentary. I'm going I'm, I'm to focus more on the production side. Uh, I'm going to get you next week. We're going to have a student. Uh, Cameron Brown going to step, step into my role. Uh, but for the foreseeable future, I probably won't be commentating. Um, I'm going fo to focus more on the production role, make sure we get you guys a, a great – a great live stream, um, you know, every week. So I know I know Marco gonna hold it down, and, and I know Cameron gonna do his thing. So so I want to officially say this will be my last game, more than likely commentating, and I will be 100% on the production side. Oh, we see Bowman United. Ball. Ball. Ball United muffles that, mishandles that uh, kickoff, but it's still able to be picked up and brought down off the kickoff. It'll be first down and ten for Bowman United on their own 15-yard line with two minutes and 46 seconds remaining. I want to go back to Joel Denley, man. Thank you, Joel, for watching and being here. It's true to go to Westbrook, camera. and he tuned in. I love it, man. Yeah, it that, that's what I, Mr. Denley, that's what I tell people, man. You can root for both schools. Now, when they play each other, of course, Mr. Denley, I, 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 I expect you to root for Westbrook. But when they're not playing each other, I could – both teams can win. It's perfectly fine. Man, that's that 409. Yeah, man. Represent for that 409. Absolutely. Look, we got another one. Shout out to them boys from BU doing their thing. I miss y'all boys. Uh, we got um, Let's Go Timberwolves. Hey, John Hefnerbab. What's going on, John? How you making it, brother? One of my classmates. Leon Stelly, thanks for going live. Coach Jay said, thanks to BISD for the live stream. Thanks to people like um, CT Director, uh, Dr. Allen, Athletic Director. I said Dr. Allen. Dr. Dr. Prudum. I'm sorry. Dr. Allen as well. <laughs> Superintendent Dr. Allen, uh, Coach Jackson, well, Dr. Jackson, um, the Athletic Director. People like that, man, they saw the vision, and, and, and here we are. 
I tell you what, we couldn't do anything without them giving us the opportunities. And so we really, really appreciate them having a vision and saying, let's go with it. So we, our administrators in Bowman ISD, we wanted to give a shout out to you all because we appreciate what you're doing to allow us to be able to help our kids. Got a, got a Here we go. Of, I'm going to try to speed through them. Uh, Andre Ross say shout out to my daughter, cheerleader, Leah Ross. Uh, oh, oh, great. Uh, here. Uh, While we Chase, go here, is, uh, this one of my students. Shout out to BU like Westbrook Ready. <laughs> oh, look, there one we one go. She say, uh, Ms. Brown say she will be there for so senior night and homecoming. And well, uh, homecoming around the corner. Definitely so. Uh, two weeks, right? Mm hmm. And then uh, White Ice says, Shout out to North Shore number 64 and number 46, my little bros. Family legacy of winning at the show. I guess that's what they call North Shore. Continue. That's the show. Yeah, they said that's the show. Here we go. We got a third down and nine for Bowman United Timberwolves. <laughs> they say. They the say. 16 yard line. Hey, I, I'm going to show Cam this. They say he put Calvin, but he meant Cameron. Oh, and he breaks two tackles. He's still Let's on go, his boy. feet. Great footwork right there. Anderson able to escape. Runs out of bounds. Great footwork right there right for the Anderson to. Keep his feet moving and keep his body balance yeah. because uh, three different times. The Look, they say, they say uh, Cameron Brown got some big shoes to fill because you cold with it, brother. <laughs> 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 nah, he good though, man. He he's a former. He, he played football. He's in the 12th grade. He played football, but uh, life has called him to other things, and um, and I'm, which I'm sure he'll probably go over when he step into the boot. So he um. He definitely, um, he definitely, uh, he definitely will, will be great. Um, Leon Steady, say be on the lookout for Ashton Henry at BU. I definitely know all about Ashton Henry. Um, been recording him since he was, in, I think, in, in elementary. Oh wow! Uh, Michael Johnson say, "Let me step in the booth." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. You know, our, uh, we 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 might not want that to happen tonight. Yeah. Mark, Marcus, I don't know. You might let one slip, Marcus. <laughs> Look, Joe Dillon say that's that 409. Absolutely, man. You already know that's what it is, 409. Yeah, uh, let's see. Chris Bailey say, I went to school with a guy named Chris Bailey. Say a shout out to my nephews, number nine, Caleb Bailey, and number two, Chris Borns of North Shore. Uh, oh, we slipped. Oh, great. Uh, oh, and you have a flag, a late flag here off of the punt. It's fourth down and nine. For the Bowman United Timberwolves, they punt the ball down. and yeah. Yeah, we got looks it. like North Shore slipped, but I'm hoping it wasn't a late hit. Yeah, cause it looked like he was trying to get back up. Yeah, right, look. It looked like it. Look, we got uh, we got um, Aaliyah Dunn. Shout out to Jamin Washington, number 32, EJ number three, and number so 24, Cam. Let's go, go Mustangs. North Shore starting. Uh, hey North Shore, you know we really really appreciate you all watching. Also, you know. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tuning in and let us know how we're doing. We really hope we the had broadcast 279. is great we, for you. We've been hovering around 300 this whole night. And that's great, folks. And mm -hmm. Great to have this many watchers and listeners mm -hmm. and just fans coming in to pay attention and watch our kids. You know, keep yep. it going and make sure you network so that you know that yep. you can always come to us and enjoy the show. Yeah, we uh, go. Play, I'll get, get to a couple more. First down and 10 for the North Shore Mustangs. We got uh, Preston Bailey, uh, 409. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. 409. Uh, it says, uh, Warren Chan says 409 strong. Absolutely. Hey, Warren, what's going on, brother? Yeah. I'm so glad that you're watching as one of my students. And uh, you know, I really, really, really appreciate you being in. And that's right, 409 strong. We're going to. Uh, Make sure that we represent and fight for the full night. We got a former, um, a former Mustang. Shout out to Coach K. You was the best coach I ever had, class of 18. Hey, you know what? That is great. It is awesome for our athletes to come back and let us know how we did. And, you know, Coach K, hey, shout out to you, sir. Shout out. Door. Absolutely, shout and out. And what they call the oh, show. Oh, man, he's running that thing. Oh, fakes the handoff. Another that boy looked like Herschel Walker running, running right there. <laughs> we, got, uh, look, we, got, look, we got David Gary say, I'm ready, Lamb. <laughs> he try to, try to sub it to him. I don't know. I don't know, G, you might let one go too, man. You know how y'all get in the booth, man. <laughs> I'm like, what happened? I missed one. Did I miss one? Here we go with 33 seconds oh. remaining in the third quarter. Oh, there you go. The Leon, Leon say, uh, be on the lookout for Marcus Johnson's son, Draymond Johnson. 
a.k.a. Draymond the Great. You know I know about Draymond, a.k.a. J. Caleb. Um, you know I know all about Draymond. Quarterback on the freshman team. Uh, let me see. See here in the third quarter. Got a timeout on the field, look like. 33.4 seconds remaining. We have a first down and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line for North Shore Mustangs. The score is 48. Mustangs. Bowman United, zero. And we see handoff right here, inside handoff by number 16. We noticed that number 16 is now in at quarterback for the North Shore Mustangs. And I'm looking for, I don't see a number 16 on the rest. I'm not sure the name. If anybody knows who number 16 for North Shore Mustangs is, uh, send us something in the comments so I can make sure to acknowledge him. And here is the end of the third quarter. Yeah, North Shore Mustangs, 48, and Bowman United Timberwolves, zero. While we're going and shifting to the third quarter, let's get a word from our sponsors. New clubs. Nice. Where'd you get them? Reward points. What do you mean? Oh, with my Nature's debit card, I get reward points for everyday purchases. Purchases made every day. Why are you saying that so weird? And I get to redeem my points for rewards. Like these clubs. Oh, man. Are we in a Natchez commercial? And cut. Natchez Federal Credit Union debit card. Rewards for everyday purchases. Natchez Federal Credit Union. Family, friends, community. And here we go, back to the action. Beginning of the fourth quarter here in Beaumont, Texas at Memorial Stadium. Yeah, Beaumont United, Timberwolves, zero. North Shore Mustangs, 48. Second and six, ball on the 19-yard line, and we see handoff, inside handoff. He hops one defender and picks up about five yards, which leaves a third down and one for the North Shore Mustangs on the Timberwolf 14-yard line. We got CT Direct, Dr. Prudem. Shout out to 511 subscribers. Uh, shout out, we're at 515, man. Marco, I told you, I'm trying to get to 600. We got, we got 12, we got 11 minutes and 19 seconds. We, hey, I, I need what? I need 85 people to go ahead and uh, get, us to, get us to 600. Look, uh, Here we go, we see an inside handoff by North Shore for the first down, a gain of two yards. <laughs> Look, we got uh, Coop. Coop say, Lamb, come on. You, you know you know how me and G will come in. <laughs> Coop will be here doing, uh, he'll be barking like a kid and everything. But yeah, this thing rocking, man. Yeah, we trying to make sure that uh, we are able to stay on there. <laughs> look, look uh, we got Clarence. Uh, um, uh, uh, Ozan Great, he said, uh, uh, where, where is, oh, here you go. Keep doing what you're doing, fellas. Appreciate hey. you. Appreciate you, Claro. And here we go. Number 16 off the left side, off the edge. Is he in the end zone? We don't have a signal yet. We have a touchdown. North Shore Mustangs. Number 16 coming around the edge. Had lead blocking <laughs> his tailback to get him to the end zone. Leon said, I know for sure G and Mark and Johnson going to let one slip. They're going to let more than one slip, Leon. <laughs> Ms. Dumas, we, uh, she, she said, uh, I'll put it on screen. She said, y'all stream home in a way. Uh, we only do the games at the stadium, so we only do home games. Uh, whichever team playing homes. Right. Home. Uh, now, playoffs is a different, a different story. We haven't really crossed that bridge yet, uh, but we'll cross when we get there. Uh, right after we get our sky cam for a hundred thousand dollars from uh, our CTE director. 
<laughs> yeah, you notice he keeps trying to put that one in there. Hey, man, I, I was just watching the documentary on how they do the NFL games. And in order for us to get to that level, we need that Sky Cam. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we're going to have to have a Sky Cam sponsor because it is not. Yeah, hey, who want to sponsor our Sky Cam? <laughs> who want to sponsor our uh, Sky Cam? Oh, look, oh, look Ms. Andrews. Be you proud. Absolutely. Me too. Be you proud. No matter what. Win, lose, or draw. Be you proud. Westbrook proud. BISD proud. Here we go, folks, in the fourth quarter with 10 minutes and 27 seconds remaining. We have North Shore 55. Oh, look, at this. look at this one. Look at this one. Just found out about this. I'll be sure to let people know I dig the vibe. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, Mr. Bailey. I appreciate you. Let yeah, people this, know. And this is know. what? This is our week four? Four? Week four. Week this four. is the fourth. Yeah. The fourth. The fourth the fourth week, we got five live streams. Um, we had, of course, we had a buy last week. Right. Um, and we're still putting it together, man. We're still putting it together. Um, but, we, you know, it's coming together. It's coming together. Well, hey, for everyone who's watching and even those, if you know someone isn't, uh, have them to watch and like and subscribe what we're doing. Oh, let's hey, go. Let's go, boy. Like, oh, we go. Get a piece. <laughs> Right here. That's a good return. That's what we need right there. Great look. Came go down off the, swinging. Came off the left edge. Let's go down swinging. On that kickoff return and picked up a bunch so, of yardage there. Looked like got, it could have uh, gone all the way at one time, but not sure speed. We got we got a coop. Man, awesome job, fellas, for the BU and Westbrook game. Can you have some special guests? All right now, Coop. 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 We can't let all of – hey, I'm putting something together. That's the alumni bowl. So, I'm, that's a hint. It's an alumni bowl. That's the only hint I'm going to give you. We got uh, tomorrow the junior bowl, junior Beaumont bowl, 5 p.m. at Westbrook High School. That's uh, Westbrook, West Beaumont, Timberwolves – I mean, West Beaumont Bruins versus the East Beaumont. Uh, Timberwolves. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. at Westbrook High. Here we go. First down to 10 for Bowman United. Timberwolves. Oh, on the that, North Shore 41 yard. Uh oh. Oh, what we great. got? Over the Get top. And, oh. oh. Just barely missed that. The ball was right there in his hands, and it was just barely missed. Oh, uh, long, hold on. Let me Number let me one, Traylon Porsche. It's a. Uh, he said, good job, because I, I couldn't make it out. Keep keep doing what you're doing. I think keep doing what y'all doing. I hey, appreciate, appreciate you. It, Mr. Ross. Look, look at this one. North Shore alum, all the way from the Philipp watching all the way from the Philippines. Go Mustangs. Hey, man, great. Hey, I Thank told you, you we so were much. a wide, Marco. You, uh, we, we was in Mexico. We was in Turkey. We was in Turkey that one week. Man, we were a wide, Marco. Now we're in the Philippines. I tell you what, we're so glad that you're watching, and thank you so very much for Marco, you know, this is our friend right here, Marco. See, Mar Bowman United trying to go up the middle, nowhere to go. We got one for my friend right here, Marco. Bernard Brown, hey, it's good to see you at. Keep on, you guys keep the game exciting. Hey, we appreciate y'all being here. So whatever we can do to make sure you keep coming, we gonna do that. Hey, if I gotta, if I gotta go on the field and do, and do a whole Michael Jackson routine to keep you entertained, I will do it, Marco. Folks, let's let's beg him not. Marco, to do I will go get my tap my I will put the the my tap um, shoes on, um, um, and I will I, go on that field, and I will do a whole routine, Marco. I am, I am not tonight. I am willing. <laughs> hey, I am willing to do whatever for this 600 subscribers, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, let's see if we get us a touchdown for them 600 subscribers. Oh, pass complete, but brought down immediately. We got uh, Derek Turner. My number 12 of North Shore. Great job, guys. Thank you. Thank hey, you. appreciate it, Derek. Man, tell you what, just keep us going and let us know what we can do for y'all. Uh, Raquel Andrews say, uh, doing an awesome job, guys. Thanks. Yeah, y'all really don't know how much we really appreciate knowing what y'all really really feel about us because only we we know is through the comments and also please send out and network and let people know what we're doing here here we go fourth down and six for the Bowman United Timberwolves on the North Shore 37 yard line and oh, pass is up oh, oh pass is up great that's defense a great pass. By number that's 31 a great D right there number 31 classy curvy community Cage McNeil 
was right there, and as soon as the ball came in, he knocked it away. Classy Kirby community. <laughs> and <laughs> Coach K, we trust. Go Mustangs. And hearing them say Mustangs is, is – uh, it's kind of a uh, bittersweet because I'm a Vincent Mustang. <laughs> there you go. And and when I see go Mustang, I'm thinking of Vincent Middle School. <laughs> They're not talking about what I'm talking about. And see, I used to coach at Vincent, so trust me, go Mustangs would be the same <laughs> thing for me too. Here we go. We have first down and ten. Yeah, we say uh, look, we got Quentin Bourne, North Shore alumni watching all the way from Georgia. From Georgia. ATL Georgia. What do we do for you? <laughs> Whatever I say, put it down like the Georgetown Hoyas. Oh, my goodness. And here we go. It is first down and 10, North Shore, number 16. Ball off the left side edge, and he slides down to keep the clock going. Clock ticking, 615 for and counting. Look, Ms. Duma say, if I go and do a whole Michael Jackson routine, she will watch it. Oh, please don't encourage him tonight, please. Thank hold on, hold on. Look, I'm finna run down. We got six minutes. No, Wait, that's look, not. look. When the game ends, I'ma run down. Nobody gonna know where. I'ma run down. I'ma do a whole routine, folks. We're Marco, cut they, this the thing people want to see it. Marco, we'll be cutting this thing <laughs> off as soon as he I'm an eagle, food. Marco. Let me flap my wings, Marco. <laughs> I don't think I want to see that. You know, I ate before we came up here. We want to leave that in my stomach. <laughs> here we go. And North Shore hands the ball off to number 20. Oh, man. Number 20 coming oh, up through, man. has blocking, and wow. That's a good run. That was an excellent run. That's a good run. As soon as they handed the ball off to him, he knew exactly where he was going. Number 20 of the North Shore Mustangs. North Shore. Najee Blackman. We got uh, Jay or Najee Blackman. So, uh, Excellent run there. Bring up a first down and 10 for the North Shore Mustangs Michi with Michi Art. five minutes in the fourth quarter. Michi, Michi, Michi is Art. It says, hey, Coach Dumas. Herbie, Herbie says, North Shore in the building. Ah, we have some North Shore watching. I don't tonight. know the name on this. I don't have it, but it says, uh, shout out shout out to my guys. So, so sorry I'm late tuning in. Great job and enjoy listening to you guys. Hey, shout we out to you, man. You too, I, man. I, I would love to know who you are. Uh, Coming to New York so we'll know. Uh, it don't say it on there. Uh, so Matt, Matt, Madison Hobson Jr. Know. says, uh, man, y'all cold know. with it. Y'all commentary is like everyone sitting together, chilling, drinking soda, and having a good time. <laughs> he forgot the word soda. That's all, guys. <laughs> Drinking soda. Okay, I got a Pepsi right here. Hey, I have a Mountain Dew. There we go. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> no cap on this can. No cap this week. <laughs> hey, look, I actually don't have a cap on this <laughs> Quinn Bourne says, uh, you, you gentlemen are doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Appreciate you guys for Thank tuning you in. Thank you very much. Like we say, like, subscribe, comment, and let us know what we're doing. Here we go, North Shore hands off to number, is it number 20 or number 23? And the push of the pile. Oh, yeah, no, to the one, down at the, the one. Ball carried, by Najee Blackman. ball carried by Najee Blackman again. Number 20. All the way down to the goal line to bring a first down and goal for the North Shore Mustangs with three minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter in the game, actually. Proud North Shore alum, uh, class of 2018. Classic Kirby community say North Shore alumni watching all the way from Seastack College Station. Hey, nice, nice. Again, we really appreciate all the North Shore Mustangs that are watching our program tonight. Mm -hmm. Please let the others know what we're doing, and that way you can all join in together. And off the left side of the line, in for the touchdown. for North Shore Mustangs. Brings the score to uh, 61. North Shore Mustangs. Bowman United, Temple Wolves. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, it's a 2.44, clock still running. Um, of course, 61, they, as they go for the extra point. Uh, Let's see, here we go. And the ball is snapped and it is up. And the extra point is good here with two minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the game. 
We have North Shore Mustang, 62, Bowman United, zero. It look like, uh, look like they, uh, they're just gonna run the clock out here. Uh, we got two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Yeah, the uh, clock has clock, not stopped yeah, clock, at all. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's a, uh, a score thing, I think. Well, I, seen it, I seen it, of course, seen it in middle school, but. Uh, I can tell you what, you know, no matter where you are, you have to have humility no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just getting out of this game without anyone getting hurt is the main thing because we've had enough people get hurt and we don't need yeah, anybody to get hurt since this week. And that's all, that, that's all that can come from, from you know, stopping the clock right now is just somebody get hurt. And, it be you know, we're already down Jonathan Martin. Hopefully, uh, I think that's him walking on the sideline. So, I, I think I see, I don't know. I don't want to speculate, but hopefully, hopefully he's good. Hopefully they set him out out of precaution. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, we'll see him. We'll definitely see him back next week. And the kickoff is up for oh yeah, get us to the shore. What'd you say, Marco? Let's go score. I tell you what, man. Let's go score. Hurry up, let's get out there. Let's get one deep one. Give two-time state champion uh, Traylon Porsche one chance. Throw that thing up. Tell you what, what you do is you go out there right now. You just kind of kneel the ball so everybody can get on the bus. Yeah, let's go home. We don't want anybody to pull a hamstring Not at all. They're trying to make Not a play all, on the ball Marco. or do anything. So with 42 seconds remaining and the clock is still running down. Ball spotted at the United 30. First down, Timberwolves. <laughs> It'll be first down and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line for former United Timberwolves. And... See number 33 ran off the right side of the edge and ooh, still took a big Ball hit right five, there. Three, that should be the last play of the game, guys. He is going to be one it, one folks. Two, hey, Center, once again, one thank one all one you guys one for coming one out and tuning in. Uh, we, we we hovered around 300 all night, Marco, and that's that that's I'd say is our biggest one. Um, well, I, I think our first one was uh, kind of on par as the game in. Clock finally struck zero. Uh, Beaumont United zero. Uh, North Shore Mustangs uh, 62. Uh, that the Mustangs will go to four and zero, I think five and zero. What's uh, four and zero in the year? Mustangs will go to four and zero in the year. Uh, Beaumont United Timberwolves will go to one and three on the year. Uh, we want to say thank you all again for coming out, subscribing, sending the shout outs, uh, and just keeping us all going. We really appreciate you all more than you think. And we want to say thank you. And this is Marco Johnson and Josh Lamb signing off. Good night, Beaumont. Good night, guys. You guys have a good night. We'll see you next week. We got Westbrook and uh, King. Is it Kingwood? No, Atacacita. Westbrook and Atacacita. We'll see you guys next week. You guys enjoy your weekend. I will see.